Welcome back. Here he is, Bruce Porter. That means it's time for Dollars and Cents, brought to you by the Resource Center. Bruce, always good to see you, and you brought props. I yeah. love it when you drag the buckets out, because I'm going to learn something simple here. Absolutely. You know, uh, this is, we want to talk savings type. Yeah. We want to talk, you know, uh, what's the goals for your money, right? I like to break things down and make it simple. Yeah. Too many people overcomplicate this thing called money and, and they confuse themselves. They get advice from 10 different directions. They don't know what to do. It can be this simple. Get three buckets, put them on your kitchen table. Your first bucket is going to be your short-term money. Short-term money is for your monthly expenses. It's the money that you're going to use to pay your bills, your mortgage and rent fund. You're going to maybe some extra cash you're going to leave in there for an emergency. Uh -huh. You're going to use a high-yield savings or a money market, or sometimes your checking account has a little bit higher rate of return than either one of those. But this bucket of cash is money that's coming in and money that's going out. Okay, let me just stop for a second because I never thought of this way. My savings, I put it in one account and that's what I use. You're saying a good recommendation is actually think of these three buckets as literally three separate accounts. Absolutely. So now we've got our paycheck we're putting in this bucket mm -hmm. and then occasionally we might need to put some money over here in the second bucket. So when you're looking at the medium range bucket, that's money you're maybe saving for a wedding, maybe a vacation, you're a college for your kids coming up down the road, mm -hmm. down payment for a house or a car, savings account, certificate of deposit, laddering your CDs, that type of an environment where you're using cash type accounts that you can readily get to if you need them. Right. That's your medium range bucket. You're gonna be consistently putting money in that bucket to save for that rainy day that may come up. So you're feeding out of, out of the first bucket that's into right. your others, okay. And then here you go, maybe you're, maybe you're sick at work, now you need to take a little bit out of that bucket and put it back over here to pay your bills with. Oh, okay. So these buckets have to work together, mm -hmm. right? Now you go to the third bucket, you got a longer term objective. Now this bucket traditionally is gonna have a little bit more in it because this is more of our retirement planning bucket, paying off our mortgage, we're putting money away, we're trying to compound the growth of it, we're eliminating debt by watching this go up and then pulling money out to pay debt off. We're using a 401k for retirement, maybe a Roth IRA, non-qualified type money for uh, just regular investments that you can be pulling money out as you need it you know, if you get within 20000 of paying off your mortgage, maybe you can reach in there and take some of that out. Not your 401k necessarily, but you can reach money in there and pull that out and pay that house off. That just saves you. Well, this type of a strategy can simplify your financial life. So if you simplify it, you're going to be more apt to do it. I, absolutely. And so... This is, this is a, an easily understood picture. These work together regularly. This, this one, is more long you just term. hang on, hang on. That's right. Okay. People want more tips like this. Of course, you have estate planning seminars regularly and you have free consultation as well. Absolutely. How do they get this info? 882-1800, scan the QR code. You can come see us, schedule an appointment. If you'd like a copy of my book, yeah. just call the office. I'll get you a copy of that. We cover some of these concepts in the book and try to make it simple solutions in a complex world. That's the whole idea. But you'll have to bring your own buckets. Thank you, Bruce. <laughs> Always good talking with you. We'll be right back after this.